Hello friends, it's Brolin with another iFly GPS quick tip. Today we're going to show you how to update using iFly Connect. iFly Connect is an application that allows people using a Windows PC to update their iFly portables. That includes a 700, 520, 720, 740, and 740B by taking the SD card out of the back of the unit and inserting it into your PC. So here we can see a brand new 740B. If we turn it over, so let's go ahead, let's take the SD card out. You take it out by simply pressing on the SD card and it pops out. If you're using a laptop, you're going to find an SD card slot on the side. It's going to look like this little slit here. If you're using a desktop PC like so, you just simply again look for the slot. Now, if you don't have one of those card slots on your laptop or PC, fear not. You can use one of these. It's called an SD card reader. All we do is we put the SD card in the reader and put it into a USB slot on your PC. Now let's go back to iFlyGPS.com and click on the iFly GPS on the top right. Then scroll down to update iFly portables, then download iFly Connect. Now let's scroll down to the orange download button. It might prompt you to install .NET Framework. Go ahead and do it. All you have to do is just simply click on setup.exe there in the lower left, and then it's going to prompt you to click install. We're gonna head and click that. Make sure your SD card is plugged into the reader in your PC, and it'll go ahead and automatically launch. If it says downloading file manifest, that means you're in. If you don't want to install everything, then simply uncheck whatever you don't want to install and hit save selections. It'll remember your choice next time. Now, if you have chart data that you don't want to update and you just want weather TFRs, that's what the fast weather TFR update is. I'm just going to go ahead and install everything. And it could take some time to load everything if you haven't updated in a while. I'm going to skip ahead. Once the update is finished, it'll prompt you to eject the SD card. From there, you can safely remove the SD card from your PC and put it back into your iFly device and you'll be ready to fly.